Well, welcome to the Steele County Historical Society. My name is Daniel Mockley. I work with, I manage the archives here at the Society. Today we're in the ex exhibition hall looking at a McCormick Reaper, uh, which was brought to the Historical Society in 2015 by a, a local man from Ellendale. The mechanical reaper revolutionized farming, bringing it to the industrial age. Prior to the invention of the mechanical reaper, uh, grain harvest methods had remained essentially the same since the earliest recorded history, all the way back essentially to Egypt. Uh, at those times and all the way to the introduction of the mechanical reaper, uh, the harvest of grain was conducted by men with sickles, gatherers and cradles in that order of creation. As you see, uh, the sickle is a simple blade and you hold the grain with one hand and pull with the other, pull the blade through cutting the stems. The gatherer and cradle allow the user to remain in an upright position, simply cutting the grain down and moving and creating bundles one bundle at a time with each swath. Commentary on the efficiency of the uh, Reaper innovation were discussed by C.H. Wendell in 2004 publication 150 Years of International Harvester. He writes, Cyrus McCormick's Reaper invented in the year 1831 with the use of one man to ride the horse and one man to rake the cut grain from the platform the Reaper could cut as much grain each day as four or five men with cradles or 12 to 16 men with, the, with reaping hooks. The reaper, this particular reaper, is a McCormick reaper. Prior to popular belief, there were, in fact, competitors to McCormick in the early days. For example, the Hussey family, who produced reapers and actually competed with McCormick, Cyrus McCormick, for patent rights until the time of uh, Cyrus McCormick's death in the late 1800s. What worked well for McCormick and what made them so successful is something that sometimes people forget about. Transportation in the mid-19th century was a major undertaking. In 1847, Cyrus and his brother left the East Coast where all of these manufacturers were producing reapers and moved to Chicago. Now, Chicago at that time isn't the bustling city we see today. It had dirt roads and was, was very undeveloped. However, what they did have in Chicago was major water transportation through the Great Lakes for natural resources and the rivers for natural resources to come to the factory. And then delivery, Chicago by the 1840s, late 1840s, was a major railroad hub feeding the Grain Belt frontier. The exact production date of this unit is unknown. However, trying to narrow this down is complicated by a couple of basic facts. On the centennial of the McCormick Company, they produced 100 replicas. These replicas were taken out into the field and demonstrated so that they too would have wear from use. It's further complicated that when they produced these replicas, they attempted to use historically accurate materials. I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at this McCormick Reaper in the exhibit hall of the Steele County Historical Society, where we preserve and share history today for tomorrow.